everyone, welcome to Testimony Tuesday. Um, if today's your first time of joining us, welcome. You are absolutely welcome today. My name is Violet Anibaba, and this is Testimony Tuesday with Miss Bio. Um, Testimony Tuesday is about, you know, just sharing God's manifestation in your life, in my life, you know, just to the word or to, you know, that soul that actually needs to believe that there is a God that makes way there's a god that does everything there's a god of the universe you know our god is still in the business of doing great works our god is still in the business of doing miracles and just to put hope in that hard listening welcome today please do not forget to subscribe you know hit the notification bell so that way you can get notified each time we post or I post a testimony on um, Tuesday every Tuesday actually every Tuesday and if you do have a testimony to share you know you can always email me at violet.akudo at gmail.com or send me a DM on Instagram at Miss Vio and um, you know I'll be happy and more than glad to you know share your testimony out there to help you spread the news the good news of our Lord Jesus Christ the good news of our Lord and to my returning subscribers welcome welcome to testimony Tuesday today is a another great testimony that we will be listening yes listening today um, a testimony it's a little bit different from you know the usual and our testifier today is coming all the way from Abuja Nigeria um, Aditola Unikon. Yes, before we dive right into the testimony, let us close our eyes and say a prayer. Heavenly Father, we have come yet another testimony Tuesday that you have granted unto us. I give you all the praise, I give you adoration. May your name be praised forevermore in Jesus' name. Everlasting Father Jesus, as we listen to you, this great testimony, what you have done in one of your children's life, Lord Jesus, we pray that um, you continue to put testimony in your mouth and that you continue to, you know, just bless this channel and bless our listeners listening. And um, Lord Jesus, that you give them reason to always give testimonies, that you give them reason, Lord Jesus, to always acknowledge your goodness in their lives. You will never cease to put testimonies in our lives. In the mighty name of Jesus, as we listen to this, we shall be blessed. In the mighty name of Jesus, and touch that heart that would listen today. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. All right, so we're going to go right into the testimony. We're going to listen to the testimony. And like the prayer says, as you listen, may you be blessed and stay blessed. Hello, everyone. My name is Adetola Oluwatosin Onikon. I want to give this testimony to appreciate the name of the Lord for his faithfulness and to let him know that I am thankful that as long as I live, I would always share and speak of his wonders in my life. Um, I also want to use this medium um, to encourage anyone out there, you know, this is a great platform where we have to share our testimonies to encourage others. So I would want to um, encourage and indulge us all, you know, to share our testimonies, no matter how small, well, what you think is small is how truly very big it is huge so um, i have a lot to testify for to be thankful for and um, but um i'm just going to try and make it as brief as possible this year 2023 god has indeed shown his faithfulness towards me in ways unimaginable um, a songwriter says to count our blessings and we'll see how graciously good God has been to us. Well, here I am to testify of the many great uncountable blessings the Lord has availed me in this year, 2023. In the month of September, 2023, um, I stayed in this apartment 
um oh sorry i'm from nigeria i'm a nigerian and so there's an apartment i stayed in in abuja and in the month of september all of a sudden we just heard you know that morning very early in the morning i dressed and i was going out and i saw ah, people outside my building what's going on my my tenants were like oh we didn't know you were inside would have called you out then lo and behold i looked up on the wall of the house and i saw efcc um you know what they inscribed on the, the our house wall was for us to vacate the house um by the on or before the end of that month hmm. just like that i i was staying in that house um by the help of god through a family i was blessed and favored to be staying in that house without paying a dime well we all know those of us who are familiar with nigeria we all know what rent say especially in abuja in a place like abuja well i've been struggling with trying to get a good job i decided to quit where i was working because as a graduate i was earning way way low very very low like i was earning as low as forty thousand naira in a month so i decided i know i was going to quit the job and wait for god's own it doesn't matter how long but i will not settle for less so i was you know waiting and preparing myself for opportunity when it comes so when this came i was distraught i was worried well i wasn't worried i wasn't distraught i was actually calm but then it became serious and then you know when i would go to church i didn't tell anybody god showed up abba showed up for me big time in a very big way i would not want to go so deep into details but i had to move out by the end of october that at that point it was so serious there was nothing i could do and september october october in the month of october there was no income coming in i was very very rich you know i don't want to say broke and i have two nephews who are orphans and you know they are my responsibilities and they're in school so it was a lot on me you know i had bank loans and you know there were some people that or some a few persons that i actually thought would be there for me and would show up for me but i don't know for some reason they bailed out on me and you know it felt like i was alone but i remember that in th in those times god kept telling me that do not put your trust in man stay focused on me i'm the one who will help you and i will help you in such a way that no man will be able to take the glory <laughs> god showed up for me currently i am staying at an apartment where i have not had to pay a dime not one naira I'm not related to the owner of the house, not in any way, but God has used this family to bless me. This is a great news and it gladdens my heart so much. You know, when Abad carries you like a baby, he's done that. He's taking so much care of me. There are so many things that I am thankful for that I think about, but then that's number one. Number two, I cannot remember the last time and this is no joke i had the smallest paracetamol pain relief relief or i'm not i can't remember the last time i had myself taking drugs swallow medicine or land at the hospital like most times i think about it and I was, how do you do it how do you take care of me god has been faithful so he has blessed me with divine health with favor of shelter and then 
I said I mentioned that I had bills to pay. <laughs> oh my god. There was in in November, September, um October when I moved. The new place I had, I had no food. I would go a whole day without eating. It was so hard and but I kept trusting God. I just kept trusting. Somehow God raised somebody who gave me full stuff just like that. And while I was thinking hard about it, my friend just called me. Babe, are you busy today? No, I'm not. What's up? Please, I need you to run an errand for me. I'm not in town and I have an event. I just need you to go. Just check out the hotel. You know, I have an, a meeting I'm planning. Just check out the hotel, the halls. Make sure that everything is okay, please. She is a friend who asked for a favor that, you know, I felt I'd been indoor all day. So I was glad to take it up. And she was like, okay, so please, I'll just send you um, transportation. Lo and behold, when she sent money to my account, I was wild. Oof. This is not transportation. This is God. I used the money to sort my bills, pressing bills. And I didn't even spend, I didn't spend up to the first quarter of the money for transportation. And it wasn't hard work. It was just to go and supervise. And then all of a sudden, you know, I used to teach online. I take English classes. The parents of the kids that I was teaching, you know, during those times told me hey, for some reason, for some reasons, we won't be continuing with teaching. So that was why particularly I had no money. And then all of a sudden, from nowhere, she comes and she says, okay, can we start now? Can we start now? I had no data and no money to get data on my phone. At least enough, strong enough data for video classes. <sighs> then I said, Abba, I've come again. No. I don't want to want on this data. I want to just do what only you can do. <laughs> November, my birthday came 26th. I remember kneeling before God and telling him that I don't know how it's going to happen but this November I want financial favor I want you to cause me to greatly rejoice ah dear friends God showed up I just kept receiving gifts from strangers you see that that data eh God showed up in a way that the the cash gifts I was receiving I did not even remove a dime to to fill in data data came from nowhere how this person knew that what i needed at that time was data not cash because of course the gift was supposed to be okay let me send i know this person will need money but how this person knew to send that data directly not money okay it's just god god uses other people to bless you but he does it in a way that he alone takes all the glory so I have come back to say, thank you, Abba. That's not all. So the parent of the parent to the child, to the kids that I'm taking, you know, she came back and she was like, oh, she's sorry for the break. I told her, I said, mm. so what do we do? Um, and in October, I said, mm. well, we don't know what, what happened all through, what I've been going through, my house issues and everything. And I had bills to pay pay you know the class that i did not take it really affected me and i have this and she was like don't worry i'm going to give you half of your payment she gave me half and i was able to sort my bills too that's part of how god showed up for me <laughs> and then she now said she, you know, because I was telling her that I have bills to pay. The boys are in school, and my, my boys, the my nephews, they are in they are in secondary school. They are in boarding school. They need to be well taken care of. Well, it's not their fault that their parents are dead, you know. So I'm always, you know, imagine me, single me, oh, <laughs> I'm always thinking about them. I'm always worrying because, Lord knows, I want to do so much for them, but you know where I am. I'm always thinking about them. And then so I was talking about them and she said, what class are they? I told her, she was like, you know what? 
henceforth from now on i'm going to take up the education of the younger one till he's out of secondary school oh my god eh hey when i think about the things that you do my imagination has come to reality oh my god oh you do this one no oh you do this one no my imaginations my thoughts the things that i i just have to think it my god shows up he takes care of me he carries me like a baby God is wonderful. I cannot thank him enough for all that he has done and all that he's doing. And yes, my former place of abode where I thought I was living large. <laughs> mm, I didn't know that God didn't even want me to be there because I am single, like I said. But I never had contacts. I was always indoor. You know, I teach online. So it's actually indoor. I was always indoor and even when I, you know, decided to say, let me take a stroll, there are only just married people all around and it wasn't good enough for me. But you see this new place that I am, <laughs> it, it's not up to a month that I've stayed in this estate and God has been so kind. I just keep, it just keeps bringing people my way, people my way and then I look at myself. I will stand and I will look at myself and say, is this me? Ah, God, God removed the garment of rejection and wore upon me the garment of acceptance, the garment of favor. People just look at me and they want to bless me. They want to favor me. I am grateful. Father, I am grateful. Friends, I'm here kneeling and I am saying thank you, Lord. This are my testimonies among others among others i have a lot of them loads and loads but trust me i'll be coming back here to share more of my testimonies i hope that these testimonies has blessed you wow 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 that was Whew. god is great god is good he is forever faithful he is forever great like he never ceased to show himself. You know, this testimony, just by listening to it, it just, um, it, I guess, portray the Bible verse, um, Matthew, Matthew 5 or 6, 25, let me see. Matthew 6, 25, Matthew 6, 25. It says, um, therefore I say unto you, Take no thought for your life, and um, what ye shall eat, or what ye shall drink, nor yet for your body, what ye shall put on, is not the life more than meat, and the body than remnants. Behold, the fowls of the air, for they sow not, neither do they reap, nor gather into barns, yet your heavenly father feeded them. Are ye not much better than they? Like, in a nutshell, that Bible verse is saying that why worry about what you're going to eat, what you're going to, you know, wear, your roof over your head, why worry when heavenly father has already taken care of that? Like, he is, he has already planned our day he has already planned our tomorrow for us. So why worry if the birds of the air can fly freely and not worry about anything? Why? Not to talk of, you know, a human being. We are made of his image and likeness. So why, why should we worry about anything? This testimony is so powerful. God came through unexpectedly. And took care of every situation. Gave her a roof over her head. Again, free. Free at that. Free and also paid off her um, nephews. I believe that's what nephews. Um, um, tuition fees. Wow. 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 God is awesome. 
Like he is awesome. Whew. If you are out there and you feel like, you know, your situation, you're going through the worst, trust me. Trust me. Just lean on God. Lean on God. Be obedient to his word. Burn for him. Be a fire for God. And he will take care of your needs. His word has already spoken and he has proven so many times. Like if he can do it for her, why not you? He can do it for you as well. So don't be worried. Just call upon him. He will be there. He will answer. He will take care of your needs according to his riches and glory. And that's what his word says. And his words are yes and amen. Thank you very much, um, Tola, for sharing this testimony with us. And I pray that God will continue to put more testimonies in your mouth. Like you said, you have a lot and we are here to, you know, listen to them, bring them in. Let's share and encourage someone out there today. Thank you very much for reaching out to Testimony Tuesday with Ms. Vio. And if you are out there, if you are out there and you have a testimony to share, if, you know, something is just urging you, the Holy Spirit is urging you to share your testimony, come on, what are you waiting for? Reach out to me, come on. Our Lord Jesus is worth sharing, okay? Come on, share your testimonies with me and I will be more than happy and gladly delighted to share your testimony out there to the world and just reach as many souls as possible. And if you are watching and you haven't given your life to Christ and you want to give your life to Christ, I urge you to give your life to Christ because he's the way maker, like he's our God. There's nothing to lose with Christ. Thank you very much for stopping by. Once again, if you haven't subscribed, please click on the subscription button down below. Hit the like, um, share with family and friends. Um, also hit the notification bell if you know you and also hit the notification bell sorry um to get notified yes to get notified um whenever i post a testimony tuesdays and also i do have a channel on whatsapp it is called testimony tuesday with miss bio so if you want to follow me join you know i also post testimony tuesday videos there if you um if you don't have access to the internet you know or you know wherever you're watching this from just um, join via um, WhatsApp, Testament Tuesday with Bio, with Miss Bio, actually. I'm going to put information down below. Um, yeah, join the family. You know, let's just spread God's goodness out there and just encourage one another, encourage each other and be strong in Christ. Okay, thank you very much and see you on next week. Testament Tuesday. Am I going to show you a testimony next week? All right, hit me up. Okay. <laughs> Bye-bye.